Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss all the previous year idioms and phrases questions from CVT, PG, MBA past year papers. Now this topic is extremely important. If you look at the past year papers, then you will find lots of questions. So let us first discuss the year-wide breakup. So in 2022, we had two papers and in each of them we had got four and four questions. In 2021, we had eight questions. In 2020, we had three and in 2019, two. So total there were 21 questions. So if you notice here, all the year, all year papers have at least two to three questions, right? And some papers have very high number of questions as well. So this is extremely important. I think the most important topic from verbal, from English point of view. So please watch this video at least two times and also watch the video completely. So let us start the first question. This question says to have sticky fingers and this question is from CUT PG MBA 2022 12 September paper. And there are four options a propensity to steal, to eat a lot, taking bribe and being miser. So let me start the timer. Let, let me give you 30 seconds. Okay, so time is up. So to have sticky fingers means a tendency to steal. Right? Tendency to steal. Now some people have this tendency that they want to steal some from somewhere, right? So we use the idiom to have sticky fingers. Now let's move on to the next question. So this question says that choose the most appropriate idiom. And there is a sentence, the dress she wanted was not available in her size and this turned out to be dash or fill in the blank as the one she finally bought was much nicer. Much nicer. This question is from CVT PG MBA 2022, 12 September paper. So you have to fill this blank and there are four options. On the ball, the last straw, better late than never, a blessing in disguise. So let me give you again 30 seconds. Okay, so the time is up and the correct answer is a blessing in disguise. So blessing in disguise is a idiom which is used when we, when we think that something bad has happened, but we eventually find out that there is something good in this. So if you notice here, the question says the dress she wanted was not available in her size and this turned out to be a blank as the one she finally bought was much nicer. So if you, if you go till this portion, the dress she wanted was not available in her size. So obviously she would be disappointed, right? She would be disappointed that my whatever dress I want is not available. But as the one she finally bought was much nicer. But due to this, what eventually happens is that she bought a dress which was much nicer than what, what she was expecting. So this means that this is a blessing in disguise. So it looked out, it turned, it seemed that it would be a bad thing, but it turned out to be a good thing in the end. So this is the idiom that we use in such cases, a blessing in disguise. Now for all other three options, this idiom on the ball, on the ball means is when you are quick to react, quick to understand and react anything, quick to understand and react. Now a good word would be alert, right? You are highly alert for anything. So you, on the ball idiom you can use. The next one is the last straw. The last straw is a series of, let's say you have a very bad day and from the morning itself, you are finding that one after another, you are getting into troubles again and again. So the last trouble that you will face will be known as the last straw. So in a series, the last bad thing, the last bad thing in a series. 
so you have faced lots of troubles but this is the last trouble that you are facing better late than never so it is a way it is another way to say that something is better than nothing right something is better than nothing so even though you have got something late but it is still better than getting nothing so let's say you have won a scholarship and your money is pending from last 6 months so you have now lost hope that you will get your money but suddenly you find your money so it means that okay you will feel that okay better late than never i got at least i got the money even though it was late so it is another way of saying that i got the thing i got my thing late okay okay so next next question so the third question choose the most appropriate idiom again a sentence is given and you have to plug the idiom when the exams were approaching the teacher told the students i have completed the syllabus and now das okay so you have to fill this das See, this question is from cut pg mba 2022 12 september paper and there are four options the ball is in your court it's time to go back to the drawing board it's time to hit the sack your guess is good as good as mine so let me give you let me give you again 30 seconds i think this is also a good question so your time starts now Okay, so time is up. So the correct answer is A. The ball is in your court. Now the ball is in your court means that it is up to you how you want to do it, right? How you want to finish any task. So up to you how you want to do it. So the question says, when the exams were approaching, the teacher told the students, "I have completed the syllabus, and now the ball is in your court." It means that teacher is saying that, okay, I have completed the syllabus. now how you perform in the exam is up to you right if you work hard you will get good marks if you if you don't work hard then you will you might fail as well right so the teacher is giving a warning you can say that since now i have completed the syllabus it is up to you that how you want to perform in exam okay now let us discuss other options it's time to go back to the drawing board so let's say you planned something but your plan has failed so this idiom means that you have to replan again because your last plan failed it's time to hit the sack this idiom means that it is an informal way to say sleep so you, if you go to sleep then you can say that okay i am going to hit the sack it's time to hit the sack okay. your guess is as good as mine so this means that i don't know the answer so basically i am guessing i am guessing or you can say i don't know the answer don't know the answer So this is the meaning of it. Okay, I think now we can move on to next question. Again, the question says, choose the most suitable conclusion to the phrase. The future belongs to those. Das. This question is from 2022. Again, 12 September paper. Now there are four options: who dreams they follow, who follows their dream, who follow their dreams, whose dreams they follow. So all four options are very close to each other. now a special consideration should be given to b and c if you notice there is hardly any difference there but there is there is a s here and there is no s here so basically it is singular plural singular plural thing right so let me give you the time so this is an easy question i will give you 20 seconds only Okay, so time is up. So the correct answer is C. The future belongs to those who follow their dreams, and why not B? Because who follows? This means that the subject is singular, right? But if you notice here, we have those. So this is plural subject, plural subject. So the only difference between these two is of singular and plural. 
So the future belongs to those who follow their dreams because this will be a plural verb. Plural. Now A and D obviously can't be. Who dreams they follow? It, it is saying that you have to follow other dreams basically. Whose dreams they follow again? Same, same thing, same kind of thing. So A and D doesn't make any sense. And in B and C, obviously there is a problem of singular and plural. So B also can't be there. So the correct answer is C. So answer is C. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Choose the most appropriate pair of phrases. Okay, so we have to find two phrases. The best advice my parents gave me is don't dash and dash. So there are two blanks, and this question is from 5th September paper 2022. So the first option is put all eggs in one basket for this one, and for second one, a penny saved is a penny earned. For second one, we have break the ice for this blank, and second one, do something at the drop of a hat. For this one, keep someone the cold shoulder, go on a wild goose chase. For D option, hit the nail on the head, kill two words in one stone. I think this is a good question, so let me give you 30 seconds. Okay, so the time is up. So the correct answer is A. So these two idioms, it says that put all eggs in one basket. So this is not a good thing, right? Put all eggs in one basket means you are investing all your energy or you can say all your time or money in at one place. Generally, it is used for money. So even in a stock market, you would have listened that you should not put all your money in one stock only. Rather, you should diversify it, right? So that even if one stock performs badly, then your money, is, your all money is not lost. Okay. So generally it is recommended that the best advice my parents gave me is don't put all eggs in one basket. That don't put your all money in one place, right? And the second advice that his parents gave is a penny saved is a penny earned. So this idiom means that until and unless you save any money, it is not it is should not be counted as that the money is earned, right? Because if you earn money and spend it somewhere, then basically you are left with no money, right? After spending. So generally, a money you should save money. So this idiom is used to indicate that you should save money. Now, for second option, break the ice. Break the ice means let's say two per there are two persons and there are those are not on talking terms, but you go as a mediator and you make them friends again. So that is where we will use the phrase break the ice. Right. Next is do something at the drop of hat. It means that you will do something instantly, very fast, instant, very impulsive kind of behavior. C option, give someone the cold shoulder. It means that ignore, you are ignoring someone. Go on a wild wood chase. Now this is very funny one. Means you are chasing, some, you are, you want to accomplish something which is not possible, which is impossible. Let's say we humans on earth, we want to find alien on earth. So obviously that is a stupid thing, right? So generally it is used to denote insanity or stupidity insanity or stupidity that you want to find something which is not possible for fourth option these are very easy one hit the nail on the head means to the point kill two birds in one stone means do achieve two things by doing only one thing right doing only one work okay so i hope the options are clear to you and the answer was a option Let's move on to the next question. Choose the most suitable idiom. Okay. The sentence is there. The police realized that they had been dash or blank. You can say when it was proved that the man they had arrested was innocent. This is from CUT PZMP 2022, 5th September paper. And the options are comparing apples and oranges, getting test of their own medicine, breaking up the wrong tree, saving for a rainy day. This is also a good question. Let me give you 30 seconds.
Okay, so time is up. The correct answer is breaking of the wrong tree. C option. Now this idiom means that you are making a wrong choice or you are asking the wrong person. So if you notice here, the police realized that they had been breaking up the wrong tree when it was proved that the man they had arrested was innocent. So basically, police was searching for some criminal, but they caught a wrong person, an innocent person. And but they realized it later, right? So it means that they made a wrong choice. They asked, they arrested a wrong person, right? So we say this idiom or phrase breaking up the wrong tree when you have mistaken, you have made a wrong choice. Okay, now let's look at other options. Comparing apples and oranges. So comparing apples and oranges is comparing, comparing unrelated things. So you are completely, you can say, you are comparing two things which have no relation among them at all. So let's say you are comparing a cricketer with, let's say, yeah, let's say a teacher who is teaching you in your school, right? So comparing teacher with a cricketer is, doesn't make any sense. So that's why we should not compare two unrelated things or things which have nothing in common. Now, be getting test of their own medicine. So this means that tick for tat. Let's say some person has misbehaved with you. So you also misbehave with that person. Then this would be a good idiom to use there. That getting test of their own medicine. Saving for a rainy day. It means that save for your bad times in future. Right? Some future emergency would be there. Maybe some medical medical problems or anything. So you save for your future problems, then this is known as saving for a rainy day. Okay, I think now we can move on to the next question. Seventh one, choose the phrase most suitable. Studying in a private university, pass. This is from 2022, fifth September paper. So there are four options. The first one is, is like comparing apples and oranges. Second one is costs and arm and leg is going on a wild goose chase happens only in a bloom. Okay, let me give you time. So this is not that hard, but still let me give you 30 seconds. Okay, so time is up and the correct answer is B. Now, cost and arm and a leg means expensive. And why it is suitable? Because a studying in private university costs an arm and leg. It means that if you want to study in a private university, the fees are generally very high in India. Right? So that's why we say that a studying in a private university costs an arm and a leg. Because why? Because it is very expensive. Now, let's look at other three options is comparing apples and oranges. We have already seen this. This in the last question, right? That you are comparing two unrelated things, or you can say you are comparing two things which have nothing in common. See, this also we have seen. You are changing something. You are trying to accomplish something which is impossible to find, like finding alien on the earth, or anything which is very absurd or I would say stupid. So this also be discussed. D happens one in a blue moon. This means the very rare event. Okay, so any rare event you tell that this is a this is happening once in a blue. Okay, this was an easy one. Let's move on to the next question. Eight one. Choose the correct idiom. And there's a sentence. When the parents got to know that she had cheated in the exams, they dash. Okay, and this question is from 2022, fifth September. Now the four options are. Beat around the bush, read her the right act, spill the beans, told her the proof is in the pudding. Okay, let me give you 30 seconds.
Okay, so time is up. So the correct answer is read her the right act. Right. So when the parents got to know that she had cheated in the exams, they read her the right act. And this question, this idiom means that you are warning someone in very angry way and in angry way. Right. So the, her, the parent's daughter had cheated in the exam. So obviously they were very angry, and they warned her and rebuked her. Okay. So we use this idiom: read her the right act. Okay. Now other three options: beat around the bus. This means that not coming to the point. Not coming to the point. Third option: spill the beans. It means. You have revealed the secret, right? Revealed the secrets. D told her the proof is in the coding. Now this means that any value can be judged only from practical experience, right? So you need practical experience to judge the value of something. Okay. So I hope all the four options are clear and why this option B is more suitable. This is also clear to you. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Ninth one, identify the correct meaning of the underlined idiom. Now the sentence is: the cricket fans were in the dark till the disclosure of the CBI report. Okay, CBT PG MPA 2021, and the four options are innocent, ignorant, happy, remorseful. Let me give you. This is an easy one. Okay. Let me give you 20 seconds for this one. Okay, sad. So time is up. Now this is ignorant, right? In the dark means you don't know about this matter. So the cricket fans were in the dark till the disclosure of the CBI report. So until the CBI report was disclosed, the cricket fans were not aware of this thing. So that's why we use in the dark frame phrase. Here. Now all other three options are easy, innocent, happy, remorseful. Obviously you know all these things, so I will not explain them. Let's move on to the next question. Again the similar one. Identify the meaning. Of the underlined idiom, as people age, they become hard of hearing. This is from CVT PG MBA 2021. Options are able to do something with great difficulty, refuse to listen to others, unable to hear well, learn true or real facts. Okay, this is not that hard, but still, I would give you 30 seconds. Let's try. Okay, so time is up. So this idiom means that unable to hear well. Hard of hearing means you find difficulty in hearing. That's why hard word is used. Let's move on to the next question. Identify the correct meaning of the underlined idiom. Again, the similar pattern questions. I think these all questions are from CVT PGMB 2021 paper. The question says the politician accused of corruption called a public meeting to clear the air regarding his actions. This is from 2021. To flaunt, to propagate, get rid of suspicion, to influence. So, what is the meaning of to clear the air? So, let me give you 20 seconds for this one. This is an easy one. If you if you read the sentence, you can feel it. You can get your answer. Okay, so time is up. So the correct answer is get rid of suspicion. The politician accused of corruption. So there is a politician who has been accused of corruption. Called a public meeting to get rid of suspicion of any actions of his. Right? Why? Because people are doubting him. So obviously he have to get rid of the suspicion. 
people are suspecting that okay this politician is not good he has done corrupt things so he called a public meeting to clear all the air about this thing so that's why we use get clear the air to get rid of any suspicion or to you can say to tell the correct things to people okay so i think now we can move on to the next question identify the correct meaning of the idiom on thin ice this is from 2021 paper again options are on the verge of ruins unbonded in the open air in a precarious situation so precarious means risky or unsafe or you can say vulnerable position so let me give you 30 second for this Okay, so time is up, and the correct answer is D. Now, on thin ice, obviously, if you are on thin ice, let's say you are standing on the thin ice, or you would have seen some animal is on thin ice. So, obviously, it can break any time, right? This ice can break any time. It means that you are in a very dangerous situation. You are you are in a very vulnerable situation where you can be, you can face lots of difficulties, right? So that's why the correct option is in a precarious situation. Now, one may say that why not option A, right? because this option also means that on the verge of ruins it means that you are be, you are being destroyed or you, you are you can say you can be destroyed any time right but this option is very you can say hard one or you would say very harsh one i would say very harsh one right because if you if you are on thin ice it doesn't mean that you are be, you are going to be destroyed it could be anything it could be a very simple situation as well in your day, day to day life where you can be in a vulnerable position or you can say if let's say you are in a class and your teacher has caught you cheating or your teacher has caught disturbing you in the class so again you will say that okay i am on thin ice my teacher can beat me or can reprimand me so this doesn't mean that you are you are going to be destroyed or we are going to be killed okay so that's why this option is not true this is a very harsh one this is a very harsh thing to say that you are on thin ice this means that you are going to be destroyed now you are simply in a vulnerable position where there may be some difficulties but those difficulties those difficulties may not need may need not be so harsh that you are going to be destroyed or killed completely okay so that's why not on not option a is not suitable option d is more suitable okay so let's go to the next question 13th one identify the correct meaning of the idiom to give a turn So this is 2021 paper. Options are to reject or refuse, to dominate, to run away, to frighten. Let me give you 20 seconds. Okay, so time is up, and the correct answer is to frighten. So you have to remember this, otherwise there is no there is no clue here as well. So to give a turn, it means that to frighten. It is better to memorize this because in other idioms you would have guessed something from the words used in the idiom, right? But here you can't guess anything. To give a turn, turn means what to do. So let's memorize this. Let's move on to the next one. Identify the correct meaning of the idiom. Make no bones. This is from CVT PGMB 2021. Without offence, to be sure and definite, undaunted by anything, to be practical. Okay, let me give you thirty seconds for this one. Okay, so time is up, and the correct answer is to be sure and definite. So again, you have to memorize this; otherwise, 
it will be difficult to get a hint from the words here so make no bones miss you are completely sure dead sure and definite about anything okay so let's move on to the next question identify the correct meaning this is from 2021 paper child's play now there are four options to handle a situation calmly to dispute over petty points and easy task to treat lightly now this is a very easy question and you can guess this from child word okay so i am giving you very less time this time so let me give you 10 seconds more okay so time is up and the correct answer is an easy task so child's play it means that even a child can do this so obviously that would have to be a easy task right if a task can be done only by a grown adult then that task may be difficult but if a, even if a child can do any task obviously that is an easy one right so the correct answer is an easy task let's move on to the next question this is from cvt pgmb 2021 paper the bottom line again this is very easy one options are the trick the most important factor the secret ignorance let me give you again 10 seconds only okay so time is up so obviously the correct answer is the most important factor uh, you, you must have read this idiom many a time in even in your books right because many a time we say that the bottom line is the bottom line is dash right because we want to sum up or you, we want to say that for all these things the most important one is this thing right so the bottom line means the most important you can say the basis of any any idea or anything that you are that is being explained so the bottom line is very very common one okay so let's move on to the next question identify the correct meaning of the underlined idiom now there is a sentence given he sold his house for a song this is from 2020 paper now there are four options at a reasonable price at a discount at a premium very cheaply so let me give you 30 seconds because this idiom is not that common now not that popular for a song i'm not sure if you know this maybe you have heard this idiom for the first time okay so time is up and the correct answer is d very cheaply right so for a song means at very cheap price so he sold his house at very cheap price right now don't confuse this with b option right this is a discount discount doesn't mean that you are selling something cheap okay and these two are obviously very these two this is especially very opposite at a premium this means that very costly price at a reasonable price this is not a, a an antonym of this but this is still not the correct answer so the correct answer is he sold his house very cheaply and for a song means very cheap very cheap also. so let's move on to the next question identify the correct meaning of the underlined idiom again similar pattern questions he has struck several bad patches before he made good this is from 2020 paper again okay. came across bad soil had many professional difficulties went through many illness had a bad time okay a good question i would say but this is an easy one but there are some options there are some confusing options b c and d okay so let me give you 20 seconds okay so the time is up and the correct answer is d had a bad time now you may say that why not b or why not c now if you notice here we say here the option is had many professional difficulties now professional difficulties is a very specific thing right if you are having a 
if you have hit several bad patches it doesn't mean that it, it had to be it has to be professional difficulty it could be anything maybe your health is down maybe you are having problems in your family it could be anything right so this is more a specific one and this is a very general one I had a bad time it could be anything so this is a general one right? general thing so that's why this is correct here again went through many illness again it is very specific that you are you are going through many illnesses or you are you have got some disease so this is again very specific but this idiom doesn't mean that you have to face some professional difficulties or you have to go through some illness only it could be anything it could be maybe you are having troubles with your some your of some of your relationships or it could be anything you can have bad time in anything maybe you are going on road and you had a road rage or you had a road accident so that's why we will use a more general meaning that is had a bad time okay so let's go on to the next question identify the correct okay this question it already done let's go on to the next question 19th one identify the correct meaning of the underlined idiom again same pattern why must you look a gift horse in the mouth okay so this is from 2020 paper four options welcome a gift be fastidious examine a gift carefully find a fault with a gift okay so this is also not so popular idiom so i will give you more time here so let's let me give you 30 seconds Okay, so the correct answer is find fault with a gift. Right? So you are, you have got some gift and you are still finding some fault with it. So obviously this is not a good behavior, right? So that's why we say that you are. Why are you looking a gift horse in the mouth? So you are you are being given a gift horse and you are still looking in the mouth of that. So again, you will have to remember this. So there are at least three four idioms which you will not get any meaning. If you don't, if you will not get any hint from the words used in that idiom, right? So you have to be, you have to memorize them at least. So let's move on to the next question, 21, 20, 20th question. Identify the correct meaning idiom. Will or the wish. Will or the wish. CUT TGMB 2019 paper. Now four options are cut in a childish way, act in a foolish way, have desires and back by effort. Anything which deludes or deceives. So let me give you 30 seconds because this is a very rare one. I think most likely you would have you would have heard this idiom for the first time. Okay, so time is up and the correct answer is D. So you have to memorize this. Below the wish means something which is very difficult to get. Right? Something which is very difficult to achieve. So anything which deludes or deceives, that is below the wish. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. Okay, so this would be 21, I think. Okay, so, so I think the numbering is wrong. So this is 21. Identify the correct meaning of idiom wrangle over an as shadow this is from 2019 paper options are to quarrel over trifles to do something funny to quarrel over the position of as waste time on petty things now let me give you 30 seconds because this is also a hard one Okay, so time is up and the correct answer is to quarrel over trifles. 
Now trifalcy means trivial things. Trivial things. So this idioms, this idiom means that you are fighting over very trivial things, very small things, which you should not do. Okay. So that's why we use this phrase, or you can say idiom, to wrangle over an as shadow. Okay. So there is an as, and there is a shadow of this as, that as. Okay. So I will not draw this. There is an as, and there is shadow of this, and you are fighting over this shadow only. So what is the point? This is a this shadow of this as is very trivial, right? Very trivial or very stupid else. So you should not fight over very trivial things. So that what that is what the meaning of this idiom is. Okay, so I think we discussed total twenty one idioms, and many of them are very frequent ones in all the exams. So I would say this can be a, a still again repeated. So it doesn't mean that since this since this idiom has come in the past paper, so they might not come again. So they can still come again. Okay. So please be prepared. Also, again a reminder for Telegram group. So I will put the link in description, and you can join if you want. Okay. So I hope you like this lecture, and if you have any suggestions, then obviously you can always put it in comment section. We can have a discussion there. So thank you.